I know a lot of you have been asking why I don't um, use chemicals to burn it off. The reason is I don't need to because Okay, we have Millie here. Hi, Millie. Hello. Now, how many times we're doing this now? We were just talking about it, right? Millie? This is the fourth. This is the fourth time. Everybody hear that? This is the fourth time. Look at this. And then you just told me that you went to the nail salon, right? I did. Look at how nice her nail looks outside. But look at over here. So they're apparently trying to get into this area right here, but it got stuck right there. You can see. So I'm going to free this nail up. It's really deep, right here. See, you see, you see China here, Beijing. It's so deep. Millie, did you know that if we keep digging, we end up in China? No. Okay, there you go. So that's how deep this nail is, okay? It's near Beijing. It's pretty deep. You can see, I'm, I'm just freeing it up. Let's see how deep it is over here. So I'm just freeing it up. Uh, now and then i'm freeing up the back of the nail here today we're gonna i know a lot of you have been asking why i don't um, use chemicals to burn it off the reason is i don't need to because a lot of times when i pull this nail out well millie is an exception this is a fourth time but most people when i pull it out i say about 80 percent of people do fine without doing the the procedure so just pulling it out and let it grow out normally and I give them a little instructions to prevent it from coming back, then then it uh, people do really well. So I don't need to do it, but obviously Millie had this for the fourth time now. So I'm freeing up the bottom now, four times. So now I feel obligated that we need to use the chemical to burn it off. I also do a um, surgical procedure where I, where I cut out this area, which is a little bit more cosmetic and a little more involved, but uh, this is, this works quite well for a lot of young people. So Millie is quite young and she's healthy and her circulation is really good. So this is one of the things I do for younger people is to use a chemical, we call it phenol, to burn off the roots so that that part of the nail will not grow back, okay? The key part of this whole procedure is really be straight on cutting this nail so it looks pretty nice afterward. We want it to look pretty cosmetically appealing as Millie is very cute and pretty, so we want to match the nail to go with it. As you can see, I went straight down really straight. And then, so did, did they hurt you at the nail salon? They did. They kept digging, huh? Yeah. No anesthesia, right? No. So were, were you screaming? <laughs> no, I was holding it in. Uh-huh, My hands are getting very sweaty. Yeah, you're being nice? Yeah, I was being very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see, you see how deep that is? Yeah. Look at that one. Wow. Look, look how much was inside here. So they got it cut about this much, but this whole thing it was just couldn't get it. I shall oh, look how God. deep that oh was. Just in the corner. See, see, they cut it this much right here, but they couldn't cut the rest right here. So I'm just gonna clean it out a little bit right here. Clean out all the area very nicely so that there's nothing in there. Make sure that all the nails are out. So it's nice and really clean. Now we just need to get back here to kill the root. So it looks really good right now. Okay. Now what I do is I use this little uh, Vaseline and I put it around it so that when I put the chemicals in there it won't overflow and burn the skin, so I put a little bit of Vaseline to kind of protect the skin around it. And now I'm ready to do the phenol. I dipped a little bit of phenol there. And here's the chemicals already there. So I put it there and I work on this area for 30 seconds. And my staff is counting 30 seconds. Right, Brenda? Yes. Okay. So we're kind of burning, you can see the 
dark area which is what's burning the uh, the root right now so I'm kind of rotating and getting in there to kill the root you do those 30 seconds three times which is enough to burn seconds. the area that was 30 seconds right there so I clean it up a little bit and then I just kind of go back in and kind of clean up the debris a little bit because if there's a lot of stuff in there then it won't effectively burn the root so I just kind of clean up the area a little bit more sometimes I go in with a little bit of curette to kind of clean up the whole area so you would nicely drain the area okay so that was the first tip I'm gonna do the second one now Let's see here again and I just rotate around for another 30 seconds as you can see, it's getting kind of dark there and the skin's kind of getting white and kind of raw. I want to make sure I don't hurt the skin around it. So another 30 seconds right here. Should be coming up soon. Millie, you're doing okay? You don't feel anything? Okay. okay, that was 30 seconds. Now you can see a little bit of extra skin kind of floating around, so I'm going to Try to clean it out a little bit just to grab and clean because we need to create space for the area to kind of drain out. Uh, if it gets blocked, then it's gonna it's gonna get stuck there for a while. So that was second, and now it's the third and final treatment. And then I go in there underneath where the uh, bell matrix is, the root, and then I'm doing another thirty seconds. To make sure that all the roots are dead so that part of the nail will not grow back so I'll keep doing that thirty seconds thirty seconds that's perfect now I'm going to go in there and clean it out a little bit there some of the debris and at this time what I use is a um, little bit of um, a little bit of alcohol to as you can see I'm trying to create a little space for the area to drain out a little which is very important because we want this is a burn injury so we wanted to make sure all the things are draining out now this is a little bit of alcohol to kind of sprinkle here to neutralize all the strong acid because we've already done the killing but we want to kind of neutralize whatever left over so we kind of get it cleaned up it's nice so I'm just going back in a little bit and kind of clean out the area give a little space for it to drain out so it heals nicely so that's really it so here's the after picture of what it looks like. I'm going to put some antibody cream in a bandage and then the patient will start soaking in about a couple of days and then it's going to look nice afterward. So here's the after.